On stage at the Michigan Credit Union League's annual convention and exposition, Governor Snyder signed into law sweeping changes to the act that regulates Michigan credit unions. Well, I think it's wonderful. I think it's groundbreaking and I think it's been a long time coming. I think it's going to be a great thing for credit unions. CUNA CEO Jim Nussel says CUNA will be taking a cue from Michigan's efforts. We're trying to learn from not only the what, so what kinds of reforms were part of the Michigan solution, but how did you get it done? What was the communications like? Uh, what did you learn in the advocacy effort? What new things did you employ? And uh, we're trying to take those tactics as we consider federal legislation. The updated MCUA includes more than 40 changes from regulatory reform to removing the fixed asset cap to allowing QSOs to offer trust services the last time the act was updated was 2003. So we went through the act line by line, section by section, and really uh, listened a lot to, uh, to our credit union uh, community uh, uh, in figuring out what we wanted to do. And then we actually worked with the, the legislators and leaders to draft what we wanted to do and then move it through the, the process. The credit union movement has been through so much and to actually have an act that is going to represent that, we've had new regulations, we've had new investments in technology, and for an act to prevent us from growing is not good for the movement. So these advancements are going to be great for credit unions. Advocacy is a part of people helping people. We have to stand up for our members' rights. We have to make sure that we're able to um, meet their needs. And we have to make sure that the legislation allows us to do so. And it allows credit unions to continue to serve Michigan's close to 5 million members for years to come. For the Michigan Credit Union League, I'm Laura Michaels.